People have settled in the El Paso region for thousands of years, and from conquistadors to railroad companies, pioneers and immigrants, it's now been a vital crossroad for hundreds of years. But in tonight's Tough Questions, why don't locals know more about El Paso's rich history? Our history is incredibly vital to the United States, to Texas, to Mexico, and in some aspects, the historical events that have happened in El Paso have affected world history without us even realizing it. Borderland historian David Varela believes El Paso will never hold its rightful place in history until locals make it a point of learning that history and sharing it with others, whether it's some of the oldest Spanish missions in what is now the United States, along with some of the oldest Mexican-American neighborhoods, or even the role El Paso played in the Mexican Revolution when Pancho Villa lived here more than a century ago. We cannot expect El Paso to be this mecca of historical locations without being educated about it ourselves first. To that end, the city's tourism agency, Destination El Paso, is now training some of its staff to become something called destination specialists. We are trying to educate those, those employees on learning the history of El, pa El Paso and being able to conduct those tours for those people that are maybe stop and say, hey, I want to know more about El Paso. Can we do a walking tour of downtown? And we would be able to accompany them as well if the tour guide is not available at that time. Destination El Paso currently has a visitor's center set up at El Paso International Airport, and it expects to have its new downtown visitor's center in place by May to answer questions and provide information about the city's attractions and history. I'll let you know about another way you can learn about El Paso's rich history and how you can explore it easily next Tuesday night.